There's a really interesting script that enables you to create these meta balls here in Illustrator. So today we're going to check it out how it works. Now, first, you're going to need to download the script from this website. I'm going to leave a link in the description and you're going to need to click on download and it's going to download the zip file, open it up and you're going to, need to access this folder, scroll down and here you got the meta ball arch. This is what I installed. I never tried the rest of it. So if you want to know how to install it, I also going to leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. So after you installed it, make sure to restart Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to go to the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top and let's go and select the circle, create a circle and I'm going to create two copies of these next to each other. Let's select both, go to file and we're going to go down to the scripts. And as you can see, we got the new script, the meta ball arch. Click on it. This window is going to pop up. And from here, we're going to need to click on the preview first. And this is how it's going to connect the two circles. Now you got the center angle here. If you increase it, it is going to decrease the connection in between the balls. It is going to make the line thinner and thinner. Or if you decrease it, it is going to make the line thicker. But it looks pretty nice on 100. And check this out. We got another box to draw extra circles. If you check the box, it is going to add two more circles. Basically, the size of the circles that is going to eventually create these connections. So I'm going to uncheck it, click OK. Now, the truth is Adobe Illustrator has this feature already. I also going to leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. This script has something more unique that Adobe Illustrator don't have. So we're going to check that as well. And I'm going to select the circles again, press and hold alt. And now I'm going to increase the distance in between the circles quite a bit. Select both. Let's do it again. File script meta ball preview. It still connects them. If you decrease it, it is going to create this beautiful thin line that is going to connect them. Now, Illustrator cannot do this. Illustrator can only connect two shapes which are really, really close together. But the caveat with this script is that it only works with circles and no other shapes. But if you do it with Illustrator, you can do it with any kind of shape. So it's basically pros and cons, right? Okay, so we're going to check out another example. I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to make a pattern. Let's go to the object. Let's go to the repeat and select grid. Now I'm going to extend this line to five and the height is going to be four. I'm also going to go to the repeat option and increase the distance. I'm going to go with 16 by 16. And let's do this again. Now let's go to the object, expand, click OK right click release clipping mask let's delete this bounding box here select it again right click on group and now i'm going to try to connect three circles so i'm going to go to file script meta preview and check this out we're going to have an extra connection right here which is going to connect the far left with the right circles and also going to connect the left middle and right circle separately. So we have here a lot of connections. I'm going to click OK. And if I remove this, you can see it is right here. You can ungroup them, remove them. And pretty much this is the Metaball script in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.